So we are staying in Thunder Bay and we're gonna kick off our morning with some hikes starting with Cascades. They got a bunch of stuff you could hike here or you could just go directly to the falls. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Yeah. The stairs, and then you can go. I mean, that's for like kids to get muddy, mostly. They only have a wee. Yeah, just don't slip on the rocks, hon. Is it cool? For those wondering, this is Kakabeka Falls. All the way. All the way. See, from this side, it doesn't look so bad. Yes, you just roll. It's just a little noisy, you know? So I'm guessing the falls used to be like there, and it just progressively chiseled out so the gorge. We're gonna have to move the visitor center eventually. Apparently they make paper in Thunder Bay. There's a mountain of wood chips. There's like an, it's like an excavator moving up and down the mountain of wood chips. It's like a mushroom style hill mountain. We're going halfway up with the car. Mountain view top tier fuel free slushies with every fill up. I think, yeah, that's, I think you're right. That's what the line is for. And I think uh, it's probably tax for like a free or something too. Do we need some fuels? We do not. I'm sorry. train that you waited like half an hour for? No, or that was equally large but uh, long but it had double uh, uh, 
stacked um, carriages. Yeah, this is this is the queue to one of the like three or four gas stations, which by the way they're like triple pumps with three. Yeah, that's nine pumps. This one's also nine pumps over there. Nine double pumps, so like 80 pumps. It's crazy. That's the biggest like capacity gas stations we've seen and they're so full. There you get a different view of the mountain of chips. Do we have enough wood chips? No, clearly they don't have enough. Keep tipping. Winter beavers, so that's when their pelts at their darkest, but their follicle of their hair is thickened so that the hair doesn't fall out uh, with it would if you get a summer pelt. So you bring in one of these, you get a one single credit. Very, very, very labor intensive. The way they actually collect the birch bark though is that right as the sap is flowing through the birch tree, you just climb up the tree, usually using ladders or something that makes it easier to go up the tree. You take an axe and you make a line straight down. Is it vegan? Obviously, they're very, very important because they're the only ones that know how to get from point A to point B. Oh. Must have been the bell. <laughs> 